The box is so big, I can't even get it open <laughs> in the view. But I have been dying uh, to get one of these. You guys know I love anything subscription, subscription box like, you know, anything to try new things, see new nail art mediums, anything like that. Anyway, so Clear Jelly Stamper has a seasonal box. I was able to get the winter box. So this one the is the winter, winter mega mystery box. And it's got a whole bunch of goodies. So let's jump right in. Guys, there's so much stuff in this box. Like, there's just so much. So much. I can't even show it properly because of how my camera's set up. I might have to take everything else out. Blah, blah, blah. I might have to take everything out and show you guys. Oh my goodness just from the look of it already guys <laughs> your girl's excited your girl is excited and i will tell you i will be getting the spring one it's not out yet but i promise you when i see that it's available for purchase i'm run hopping jumping skipping to get it i'm already excited guys <gasps> oh my goodness Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much, like, uh, eh. okay, like, oh my Jesus, I'm just mashing up things. There's so much stuff, guys. What? Okay, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm taking this stuff out. Okay, so first things first, the box is worth it. The box is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. I'm getting the spring one. I'm getting the spring one. Whenever it's available, I'm getting the spring one. So be prepared to see the spring one on this channel because I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so so far, so, well, not even so far. First off, we got this um, a stamping plate holder for the like smaller square plates like not the tiny ones when i say smaller shoot i don't know if i have any to show you but like not this small but a little bit bigger than this one so this is the holographic small plate holder as you can see this is what it looks like inside i think it holds yeah you can stick both You can do both back and front. So like you can stick a plate here and stick a plate here. So um, this one holds 30 plates, 30 plates. And even though I said it's a bit bigger than for example, this stamping plate, you could definitely fit <laughs> this size stamping plate in here if you wanted to, it's entirely up to you. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the clear jelly stamper like silicone mat. So yes, it is the mat. And obviously you would put this down like when you're filming, for example, for when you're doing like stamping. And you know when you scrape and sometimes you might get some on your desk or some on like your background that you're using to film? Well, this would protect your work area. Love, love, love this. I have a different mat by a different company called Twinkle Tea. Um, that was one of the first silicone mats I've I ever had and used, and I still use sometimes. But I'm glad to have another one. So in the mega box, we also got a cuticle oil. This is the three millimeter. I actually love these like little travel cuticle oils. Just take it out so it's not making so much noise in your ears. But I love these. It has like the little twist. You just turn it and then the oil would fill the bristles and then you would just simply apply it like so. 
I love these. I love these because they're perfect to keep in your purse, at your desk, depending on where you work. If you're a stay-at-home mom, if you work from home, regardless if you're on the road, just use this, have a little bit of cuticle oil, and you can keep your cuticles looking beautiful all day, every day. I love these travel ones. Can I tell you? <laughs> so I have tweezers, this color. And I kept buying the cuticle nippers because I'm like, oh, I want to like, you know, get that and get the cuticle nippers so they match. And then I want to get the cuticle pusher so then I would have the set. And it's in the box. This makes me so happy. I don't think you guys understand how long I've been wanting the oil slick cuticle nippers. Ugh, I am so happy. So as always, it comes with the protective um, covering to protect the tip of the nippers because they are sharp. Mm, sorry, guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> my goodness oh 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 my goodness okay so let me just take it out sorry you know that was chaotic so this i've also wanted this is um the new stamper where you can Pick up the image and you can either make it really large or you can make it like shrink it depending on what you're trying to do i was looking at this the other day and i said i wanted it i wanted it i don't remember why i didn't purchase it when i saw it but i was like okay i'm gonna come back and get it it was in the box can you guys imagine if I hadn't opened the box and I ordered it? I mean, it means I would have just had two, but I would have probably just done one, like put it aside for a giveaway. But I cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited, guys. And then, of course, as always, you get like a scraper with your stamper. So I am, I'm stoked. I really am. So included in this mega seasonal box, winter seasonal box, I should say as well, you got a liner brush. I actually don't have many liner brushes and I keep saying I'm going to get some because I want to practice like my freehand art and stuff like that and like lines because I can't draw to save my life. So I'm really, really pleased to have this as well. <laughs> It also came with this 14 by 9 stamping plate storage binder. This holds 20 stamping plates. I believe, yeah, 20. For a sample, it would hold one of these plates. And then you can put one behind it. I'm not sure what this is. It's a scented candle in the shape of a snowflake. I'm not sure what it smells like. I can't really tell, but this is so cute. I pro I don't want to light it though. Like it's just so pretty. Also got this really cute brush in the package. Oh, this is so pretty and soft and fluffy and the handle like it's got like a opalescent shimmer to it it's very very nice i'm not sure exactly what this is i want to say maybe it's like like um something you put around your wrist and then you can put your keys on it I'm not sure, but if you guys know, let me know. Because I actually, like, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, so we also got some nail art foils. Uh, I can't open it. 
Oh, I was opening it the wrong way. Oh, these are so pretty. I think I have something similar to this. Not exactly, but it's very close. Oh, these are so pretty. And you know what you can use the foils really good for too? Um, with the sticky stamping polish. I'm definitely gonna show you guys something with that in the near future. But yeah, so you get a good range of color. I hate taking out foils because they unravel. And then I can never get them back in. You get like a decent strip of foil and this is folded in half so it's really long see i didn't <laughs> get it back in properly but you get 10 foils in here which is really really cool and we got another stamper this one is the small bling stamper cute is this this is like the miniature version to the big bling stamper so you've got your bottom stamper with all of the crystals at the bottom and then you've got you know your other stamper and I like this because it's like smaller so if you want a smaller image you can pick it up instead of like the big one which might pick up some other images as well I really appreciate this and I've got this one the mini one and then my regular stamper the pink one that I usually use in my videos so I am so glad I'm especially excited for this one and then again we got like a credit card scraper which is really really neat on well, anytime you get a stamper you do get one of these scrapers with it oh this is the replacement head for the resizing st stamper. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, next I got this Shimmer Solid Watercolor um, kit. This one is called Galaxy. So you get six colors and they have some shimmer to them. This is really nice because I wanted to practice like watercoloring with nail art. So I'm really, really grateful to have this included. Okay guys, how cute is this? You also get like a miniature water spray bottle for when you're doing like the watercolor. So you just fill it, you know, spray it and then start using watercolors this is like a really nice color too so in the mega box we got quite a few stamping plates there's three mini ones and one two three four six, seven large ones so this one is cjs c40 and it comes with like a little insert to kind of give you like ideas for some nail art. So of course this is like a layered stamping plate which I love. You can do like the little snowman and the hats. And this is Frosty the snowman. You've got some air muffs and then <laughs> you could do like maybe make the air muffs themselves like pink going with a black or a gold or something and they've got the hats that you can layer so you can um, maybe do this first and then go in around that and then stamp that to kind of make it all match evenly and this is CJS03 as you can tell it's a snowflake plate and I love their snowflake plates you can never have too many you can never go wrong with a snowflake plate like I love this especially in love with this like I love how big this is but they have like different varieties you've got the outside of the, the snowflake you've got these ones and this one is CJS C09 
again another Christmas plate which again is fitting especially with the theme of the box and you've got some snowflakes you've got some um is, is that a partridge bird I think that's what they're called and you I can never the mistletoes that you can create a little mistletoe with love 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 oh I didn't even realize like the partridge you could do like layered but how <laughs> This one would stress me out. But so now we're moving into the larger stamping plates. So this one is a CJS 324. So as you can see, you've got like some sweater nail designs. You've got some snowman designs. You can even like <laughs> give snowman. Sorry, give Frosty like a plaid sweater on his belly here. That would be really cute. Um, we've got the sweater design. I want to call it Argyle, I think. I can never remember the name of it. I love this snowflake pattern as well. And you got some houndstooth. And you've got like some cute little trees down here. I really like that. This, you've got like the reindeer who can be, you can either leave them plain or actually like give them like a cute little plaid design or something like that i love these plates like i love how versatile they are oh i didn't even notice frosty like his layered image here and then you've got like this the the, the scarf oh, i'm drawing blanks i don't know why but and then you've also got this other reindeer image i love this oh my gosh so the newer plates also come with like, as usual, the backing that shows you, gives you some ideas of what you could do. See, I was right. Giving a frosty like sweater pattern. How adorable is that? And then look, the reindeer with the little pattern. Oh, you can even do it with the trees. Okay, okay. And then we've also got this so like you can you know match it against your nails see what it would look like okay i'm picking up a glare sorry guys here we go so you could do that and see if it will fit what it will look like but if it doesn't fit you can stretch it okay sorry <laughs> but i i like these i have a few plates older plates that don't have these because these are more recent to a lot of the newer plates i wonder i'm gonna check to see if they have them from our older plates because i will definitely get them almost forgot that on the back of this one you get like a little step-by-step -step guide so for example you've got the snowman and then it shows you how you could layer the snowman with this image or this image to give this snowman image or you could layer this the scarf and the hat and the nose and stuff to get this image so i really like that because it also like if you're not sure what to do or how to layer it it'll give you like some good ideas so next we have stamping plate cgs cjs sorry 147 <music> And as you can see, like this one has like a variety of bows, which again is like perfect for this time of the year. You've got some snowflakes. So this is like the first layer and that's your second layer option one. And you've got second layer option two. You can use this and then layer it with this or you can use this and layer it with this or this, which I think is like really, really neat. And then you've got like the cute gift bows and ribbons. This is really cute. Put a bow on it, darling. <laughs> And then like, as you can see, you do have like the uh, double layered bow images and you've got this one and then you've got some larger um, nail bow images as well. I like the swirls. I always think swirls are really nice too. And then it does come with this insert and just to give you like some ideas of how you could use the images. See, so you would take this sorry let me bring so you would put put a bow first so you put a first and they put bow on it and then darling i really like that i think that's really cute and next up we have cjs c51 <laughs> oh 
how cute are these images you've got like the little bear ones and this will go together there's a nose and then you've got like the miniature ones you've got like your hot cocoa image and then you've got like the little foxes. I really think this is so adorable. You've got like a little Bambi image. I think that's like a little chick. And then we've got like some swirls and some other patterns. And we've got some like written words, cozy, bundled up, winter holiday. Again, a Versa plate. I'm really glad I ordered this box. You guys have no idea. Because some of these plates I've been eyeing, some of them I didn't even get a chance to like really go through because Claire Jelly Stamper has so many plates, it's unbelievable. So like for me this was perfect because I was like, oh I don't have this one. It's really good. I promise you can get in the spring box. You guys just wait and see. And then as usual we have the insert. And again it gives you like some ideas look how cute that fox is look at how cute oh and they can stick the little bear it's okay that's really adorable guys okay so this plate is called cjs c11 <laughs> And the reason I'm not opening this is because I actually have this plate in my collection. So I said I'll put this aside and put this in my bin for my future giveaway. So I was glad that I got it because then I was like, great, I can just add this as something to give away as well. But again, as you can see, you do have a wide range of um, Christmas images that you can use. You've got the drum for me and my drum for the little drummer boy and the parappa pum pum i <laughs> love that and you've got the stable you've got a holy night you've got the candy cane you've got like a, a snowman image i almost said santa claus <laughs> you've got a scarf image and then down here for the snowman you've got frosties like hat nose eyes the buttons and the outline for the nose, his mouth, his arms. I really love that. And then you've got the Frosty the Snowman. You've got some mittens. You've got a cute little mug. You've got a hat. You've got a sweater. Like, you've got so much on this plate that you can use. Oh, hmm, this one didn't come with an insert. Sorry, guys. And this plate here is CJS330. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a lot of cute winter images. We've got the cute little polar bear there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we got like the penguin, and then like you've got the layered images again. And look at, okay, no, tell me this is not cute. This is so adorable. And you've got like your scarf image, some trees, another polar bear. I love this. This is like really, really fun. So because this is one of the newer plates, it comes with this insert and it just like gives you an idea of what you can do and you can like, well you can't see that one because of the color of my nail, but <laughs> like if you wanted to size it on your nail and see like how it's going to fit. Oh no, you can't see it on that one either. Okay, well, if you can see, oh there, that is like <laughs> a snow or skating polar bear. <laughs> I was holding it backwards, guys, so forgive me. But this is penguins, this is polar bear. Super, super cute. I mean, like, look how, okay, how adorable is that? <laughs> I like the penguins. Oh, I love this. And then you also get the usual insert. Look at this skiing bear. Oh, this is so adorable, guys. And then you get like a step-by-step -step guide on the back. I really like the newer ones with the step-by-step -step guide because sometimes like you just need assistance sometimes. <laughs> so like you can layer it like this. That's one, that's two, let's do this four and that will help to make this image. And then you've got the bear. And then it shows you like which images to use. Sorry, my camera's like giving off a really strong glare. Um, with images to use to create this look so i really appreciate this 
So this plate is the CJS LE07. So this is one of the limited edition plates that you did get if you got the Mega... I think it's called the Mega Box? Yeah. So that is one of the limited edition plates that you got. So unfortunately, this one is not going to be available for purchase as it is, again, a limited edition. But as you can see, we've got some more like layered images. You've got the hat. Um, you've got the air muffs and then you've got some writing. This says winter. This is Christmas. You've got this lady like... I don't know, she's supposed to be like blowing in the breeze, I don't know, but like that's part of the scarf, her hat, her hair, you've got like a little cabin house, you've got some tree images, and then you've got this really fun candy cane one, so it's like back and forth candy canes, and then you've got the image that you can layer on top of that, you've got some bowls, you got a cute little polar bear. <laughs> so again, because this is one of the newer plates, we did also get, again, one of these inserts that kind of... I gotta remember told these the right way. <laughs> that give you, like, an idea of, like, certain things you can do. So, like, here you've got this snow globe one. You've got the candy cane here. You've got, like, the cute bears. This is the lady hair that I was talking about. Just a variety of ideas. And then, again, like... You can see if it's gonna fit on the nail, you know what I mean? So I really appreciate these. And then again, we've got the insert that gives you like some color crumbles and some more ideas of how you can use the images. And then again, we've got our step-by-step -step guide. So here it gives you all of the ways to layer this. To make this snow globe image got all the way to like this to make this like when i say i really appreciate it because it can be a bit confusing if you're not used to layered stamping so it gives you the idea of like okay what i need to do this one this one this one this one and that and it will give you that so i really really appreciate it and it even gives you like the colors you can use you don't have to use those colors but it's entirely up to you this last plate that i'll be sharing from the box is called cjs 86 and this one is called frosty forest so as you can see we've got a whole range of trees we've got a few snowflake images but like mostly majority of this plate is trees and then more snowflakes at the bottom So some of the older plates do have the inserts, but you can purchase them. Like, they don't come with them. Or I'm not sure if they come with them. I don't think they come with them. But I know you can purchase some of the older plate um, inserts, like these ones. Not all of them, but a lot of them you can purchase. So, you know, again, depending on your design. Okay, camera, work with me, not against me. <laughs> you can, like, see, okay... Oh, that's going to fit perfectly, or it might be too big, or whatever the case may be. But again, love, love, love to have these. And here we've got the insert with more of like colored images and like color IDs you can use. And then we've got our step by step guide on how you could layer like the images to create some fun designs for the trees. And lastly, what was included in the box were a wide range of stamping polishes. And I'm so glad because I actually need to stock up on my Claire Jelly Stamper stamping polishes. So when I say to you guys that this box is worth it, I'm not joking. This box is absolutely worth every red cent that I paid for. <laughs> every cent. Absolutely worth it. So you got five individual colors. A three um, pack, a five pack kit. I think it's five. Hold on. Yeah, you get a small stamping polish kit. I it might be four or five. I can't remember. And then you get a larger stamping polish kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like do a quick look at the colors, and then I'll probably do a separate video of like how they stamp for you guys. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the five individual polishes. 
This one is the five milliliters. Blah, blah, blah. This one is the five milliliter sticky clear. So this is the sticky clear polish. This polish is amazing for like chrome stamping, foil stamping. Like if you don't have like foil glue and you want to do like a stamped image with with the foils. <laughs> Instead of doing like a full coverage nail with foil glue, you can use a stamping polish and then kind of stick the foil onto it and it will pull off that image and then you will have like a foil stamped image. I'm actually thinking of doing a tutorial for you guys showing how that would be done. If you'd like to see that, let me know and I'll definitely get that done for you. So usually when I am doing my foil stamping, sorry, when I'm doing my chrome stamping, I usually use this one because I had a bigger one because I'm like, I need this. I'm great to have, I'm really grateful to have the small one, but I am going to also place an order and buy like two more of these because I absolutely love this. They have a black one and a white one, but I find I reach for this one more than the black because sometimes the black can make the chrome a bit too strong, but I think I might still stock up on the black and the white just in case, but definitely making sure I always have the clear sticky stamping polish okay so this one does not have a name it has a number so this one is number 99 and as you can tell this is another mini but look at this this is like a hollow stamping i am excited for this especially for like winter see if i can use it for a christmas set or something because i know like it's quickly approaching guys i cannot believe like we're here oh even new year's this would be really cool oh my god look at how gorgeous this is guys next up we have this beautiful blue this one does not have a name as well but this one is number 32 oh my goodness look at this blue oh my gosh yes <laughs> oh this is so gorgeous like look guys perfect perfect blue for like winter nail art definitely gonna get some use out of this and next we have this a gorgeous red as you can see through the bottle there and this one is number 125 Ooh, this looks like a very pretty and festive red there's some shimmer in there oh yes this is another gorgeous red perfect for this time especially and lastly from the individual polishes we have this beautiful lilac -y color and this one is number 106 oh you guys know i live for anything purple so for me to even get this oh my god oh it's so beautiful i love it 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 <laughs> Look at this, guys. Beautiful. So the next um, polishes that I am going to share with you are the ones that came in the three pack. And these are just three packs of uh, five milliliter stamping polishes. And they're all blues, which is absolutely perfect. Again, for this time of year, so far, I will say the only like polish stamping polish that I don't have already is the Sticky Clear. So again completely worth it guys absolutely absolutely worth getting the mega box so again another gorgeous shade of blue oh yes oh and it's even got some shimmer okay no for real guys you need to get your hands on the next one. Like, I'm so sorry that this is no longer available, but you definitely need to make sure, like, when the spring box comes, get your hands on it. This one is 166, so this is like a lighter blue. <laughs> this is beautiful. My colors, my, my color. 
my camera is actually picking this up a lot brighter than it is and now my camera's not focusing at all okay there we go yeah picking this up a lot brighter than this is it's about maybe one or two shades darker it is lighter than the one i just showed you but it's also not a bright like light blue it's more of a medium yeah medium blue and the last one oh my god this is so pretty in the bottle oh my gosh from the three pack this is number 167 absolutely stunning guys oh this is so gorgeous i love this it's like a frosted blue okay so this is the second last stamping kit that was included in the box so this one is the small polish kit the classics collection <music> Okay, so this one does have four um, stamping polishes, not five. I thought it was five, but it is four. Here are the four polishes out of the box. So let's take a quick look at these as well. So the first one that I'll be sharing with you is 212. This is a luscious color. This is really, really nice. Next we have number 218. And number 218 is this gorgeous, gorgeous green. Again, this is like a perfect color to include. gorgeous green well I shouldn't say another but this <laughs> is a gorgeous green for this time of the year as well you know what this should be perfect to use for those tree images and then add like a little bit of white for the snow yep perfect next we have number 222 this is like a creamy taupey kind of color beigey nudie <laughs> type of color or maybe even more ivory leaning i actually don't own a stamping polish color like this so i'm very pleased to have this in my collection and the last polish from the four pack is 223 <laughs> I love blues and purples and the odd like forest green or military green and the last set of stamping polishes that I will be sharing with you and this is the last item from everything that was included in that box so again you see why I say it's totally worth it the amount that it costed is because you get so much included totally totally like I really hope you guys are able get the spring box when it does release so this is the antique collection Ooh, and this one has seven colors and as you can see these are the seven colors again this palette is very springy but you can also use some of these for the winter summer fall you know but I know for me personally, I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this in the springtime. Okay, and the first one, the antique collection, is number 78. This one is a very like lilac -y purple. Similar to, I think I have something similar that was sent, but it's this one doesn't have shimmer. I believe the other one has shimmer. I have to check. I mean, I just shared it with you guys and I literally can't remember. <laughs> okay 
so never mind. <laughs> I actually don't have anything similar to this. But can you imagine these two together? It looks so stunning. Next is number 79. And this is another purple, but this is more of a muted purple. It is, I want to say, a bit lighter than the one that I just showed you guys. <laughs> This one in the previous purple would be really good for Easter as well. Like, so you kind of get why I say like this would be really nice for spring. Of course, you can use it for this time of the year, but I feel like they would work really nice in spring as well. So yes, number seventy-eight is darker and um, number seventy-nine is lighter. But then let's like these three together, mm, guys. Next we have number eighty, and this is a very like. I wouldn't say pastel blue, but it's more of like a sky blue, I would say. So I wanted to compare number 166 and number 80 to you. So 166, number 80. 166 is darker. Even though like my camera is pulling it more light, you can still see like there is a drastic difference between the two and um number 80 is a bit more muted i would say like if we take this out this is number 80 more of like a muted looks like it has gray undertones in it and this is number 166 So you can see like the drastic difference between the two. Next is number 81 and this is like a peachy color. Here is number 82. This I would call maybe a pastel -y yellow. It's like very muted though. You know what's funny? I don't think I own a pastel yellow. <laughs> Second last color is number 83. And number 3 is definitely like a pastel green. It's kind of muted just like the yellow as well. <laughs> stamping polish is number 84 this one i want to call it like not a cement but it is muted and more like taupey beige as well <laughs> guys for the clear jelly stamper winter mega mystery box honestly i am so pleased with all of the items that i did receive i personally feel like it was absolutely worth it and i will let you know from now as soon as the spring mystery box becomes available i will be gathering it i will be getting it because for the amount of items that you are getting in this box it is worth it i think i paid a hundred and something and if i'm not mistaken it's like 300 and something dollars worth of products or more than that i can't remember exactly but i mean come on look at all the things i got tell me i'm wrong so just know that as soon as the spring one is available, this girl will be getting it and will be sharing it with you guys. As always, thank you so much for tuning into my videos. Please do make sure that if you have any comments and or questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will also make sure that I will do like a thorough review of the stamping polishes and do like over black and white kind of thing. You know, just so you can get an idea of what they look like while they're stamped. I might even play around with the um, stamper that you can increase the size and decrease the size. And I actually want to play more with watercolor pigments and like filling in stamping images with watercolor. So like 
I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. If you know anyone that will be interested in this video, please go ahead and give it a share. And do make sure that you do give this video a thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I do post more content. And until next time, stay glamorous.